price divergence and uh, correlations. So basically what I mean by uh, divergence and um, correlation. So when, when you have two prices, right? And uh, say, say one is going down. If it's diverging, which technically just means does the opposite, right? So this pair would technically be going up, right? So this is a divergence. And then, um, you know, a correlation is, you know, if a pair is going down and you're looking at a, you know, if it's got GBP or something in it and, um, you know, you're looking at another GBP pair and it's kind of doing the same thing. Or if you look at a USD pair that's going up and another USD pair so that, could, that could be going up. What? Similar. Yeah, right. Exactly. So correlation is pretty much um, doing the exact same thing or pretty similar, right? So we'll take a quick look at uh, we'll we'll take a quick look at correlations, right? So you got AUD correlations here. So if you take a, a look at this. Right, it's interesting because you know these are all the AUD pairs, okay? These are all the AUD pairs, and if you just look at uh, these are the line charts, and um, if you just look at the structure on all of them, right? They they kind of all have the the same behaviors uh, within each other, right? You see that? How that's interesting. <coughs> Like that, <coughs> right? Yeah. So, so yeah, that would be a uh, be a corre uh, correlation. Correlation. Yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. So now we can look at a uh, divergence. Okay. So here we have. I'll look at a different one. Okay. So here's. Here's a perfect one right here. So we have this is divergence, right? So you can so you can clearly see right that this this one down here, this black line chart is the dollar. So when this one go was going down, you, you see Euro USD and GBP USD. You see these doing the complete opposite uh, of each other, right? So then from this point here, the dollar started going up. But then from this point here, started going down. And that's how you can relate. That's how you can you can see those those different ch those charts and and, and fuck it. And one of them it's a sell, and one of them is a buy, right? Right. That's how you can dictate sometimes uh, what like especially with the dollar. Also, like all USD pairs, the the DXY is the cheat sheet, basically. So, you know, um, here, here's, here's another good example right here. Um, yeah, so right here, actually, you see on uh, the dollar and Euro USD, right? So, see how the the dollar kept making lower lows, yeah. and then and the Euro USD kept making higher highs and then boom right so there's one and then I, I have another one in here that's pretty good with the dollar as well yeah so right here all of these are pretty good actually but uh so yeah look right here another example this is gonna be our last example and um, just basic structure right so on the dollar we had lower lows and lower highs okay and or um excuse me uh on uh euro usd and then at the same time on the dollar we had uh you know higher <laughs> highs and higher lows that were being created so the dollar and us uh, euro usd like basically are mirror images of each other that but but mm -hmm. but they oh, diverge from each other, so they do the opposite. See, look at this. What? The dollar and the euro. Okay. 
Yeah, look, watch. Yeah, for sure, for sure. They they always do that. It was, it pretty, was pretty, like that. pretty identical, huh? Mm -hmm. Just yeah. in verse. Exactly. So yeah, uh, that was um, price divergence and um, and correlation. Okay. So I hope that uh, you guys got some insight from that. And um, you know, it's not um, you know, it's not a video to help you guys you know have massive breakthroughs or anything like that. But um, you know, if you you know if you um, are struggling to uh, figure out what a pair is doing, maybe go look at another pair. Um, you know, if you're struggling to look at what AUD is doing, maybe go and look at another AUD pair and see if, you know, if your eyes can spot a move, uh, you know, in whichever direction. But yeah, um, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll catch you next time.